Welcome back to TEC Tube. This topic we're going to talk about today is the ABM Easy Hood. So this is an air balancing hood, but it works in conjunction with some of the airflow measurement tools we've used in the past. So a lot of you guys probably saw our previous videos where we were using this particular tool, which is connected on Bluetooth to my phone, to be able to go around and measure airflow at various registers and diffusers, right? What we're going to do now is use that same tool. We're going to stick that guy inside a balancing hood so I have the same app and the same great features, but I'll be able to do it in a much more efficient manner. So let's explain. All right, so let's take this guy out. This is our balancing hood. We're gonna have a sleeve that goes over the top of it here in a minute. And the idea is going to be that we can capture all of the air in one spot and send it through a dimension that's exactly the same on every single register, every single project. Because some of you guys that have used this in the past or have even used the, the old plug-in style one, probably know that every single register you go to, you gotta go in there and tell the dimensions of the register that you're working with, right? Because this is just a velocity measurement and velocity times the area is what's going to give me the CFM. So I have to tell it the area that I'm working with, hence the register size. And then I got to put a factor in there to adjust for whether the register has a lot of block off or a little block off, whether there's blades on it, whether it's wide open, right? And then I'm kind of guessing at that. So what's going to happen here is we're going to put this hood over the register and all the air from the register is going to come through this grid, which is the exact same dimensions and, and area every single time we measure something. So I no longer have to go into the app and tell it different stuff. I just can go hood it, read the reading, hood the next one, read the reading, hood the next one. So let's put it together, right? It came broken down for carrying purposes. Um, I got this sleeve that I can put over him, that I will put over him. Let's see. It just stretches across, maybe, if I didn't knock it down. This will be the hardest part about using this thing. And then John will edit this out, so I'm an idiot. Or he'll leave it in, so everyone knows I'm an idiot. Maybe we'll go over the bottom instead, because that's how it would normally work. Because that side is significantly smaller. Right. Now I'll put all these wings up. Like with a regular balancing hood, right? I got handles on here, I can hold them up and put them over a register, which we'll do in a minute. Some things that are gonna be different though. If you're using the old plug-in style one, which hopefully you're not because that's pretty lame at this point, um, you'll be able to open this cabinet up and there'll be a cord that feeds into your phone and then this will go on the inside and plug into the other end of it. So it's just an extension cord. We're not gonna use that today, we're gonna use the Bluetooth one, so we don't need that. So we'll use the Bluetooth one. Now you can buy this hood with this accessory or without. The way we sell it here at TEC is without because almost all of you guys have one of these already. So it doesn't make sense for Nick you buy another one with the hood. You can just use the one you already have, all right? So this guy here, when you bought this, there was a couple little accessories on here. One of which was this little audio jack looking device. So we'll screw that guy in. And then we're gonna plug him in right here. So now he is in the airstream through a dimension that's already known. All right? Our phone is just gonna clip on the front of there and become our screen. And then we'll sync the two together. Let's go take a reading. All right, so we're taking a couple measurement readings in here to show you how easy it is to use this hood, hence the name, Easy Hood, uh, versus having to use just a little probe by itself. So first thing is I gotta turn power on to my measurement device. Right, And then on my software app, I'll hit scan, it'll go out there and find the device itself, and now it's connected. If I wanted to leave, I could press disconnect up here at the top. Now in this case, I have all my normal settings like we've covered in other videos, but I'm gonna go all the way down to the near bottom where it says Easy Hood. Click on that guy there. 
There's only a couple things to actually set up on this. So I can name the room, right, for reporting purposes, and that whatever I want. Then I gotta pick whether it's a supply or a return, or exhaust, exhaust slash return, right? So is it positive or negative pressure? So I'm doing a supply at the moment, so I'm good there. And then all I have to do then after that is it's a regular test or a low velocity test. Right now I'm gonna do a regular one. I'll explain a low velocity one in a second. Then I would hit start, all right? It pulls up my meter on here. I'm gonna take a reading. So let's see what we have on this diffuser here. I'll place him over the top of this guy. I got air coming through, quite a bit of air actually. And I have called 172, 175 CFM. And it's being recorded on my app. I can press stop. And then if I choose to, I can save that or I can delete it. All right. So I can either save all of these and go around from diffuser to diffuser to diffuser and, and read them and save them into a single report that later on gets emailed to me just like the regular software does. Or I can just go up to the next register and measure it again, no big deal. I can keep doing it that way if I want to. So I'll save it in this case, right? My other alternative would have been be to leave it on this screen, go take a reading, write it down, take a reading, write it down, take a reading, write it down, and just keep going up and up. I could do that and just hit every diffuser in the whole room or in the whole building or the whole house, whatever I'm doing, and never have to go in and, and reset anything, never have to tell any dimensions or anything like that. Right? This guy's gonna normalize all the dimensions. All right, now with that being said, there's one other thing, it's right here. This thing comes with an adapter plate, it says for 50 CFM and under. So if I get to really low CFMs, this opening is too large. So what I'll do is I'll put this adapter on here for low flow or situations below 50 CFM. It just pinches in here, maybe. Right, and now it's restricted it down to a smaller dimension so I can more accurately measure the airflow. And then on my app, I would have one slightly different thing I do. So let me leave that screen. Go back into Easy Hood. It's still a supply duct, but now instead of regular, I pick low flow. That tells the software in the app that I'm using that restrictor. Right? And then I would hit start and do it just like normal again. And take another reading. All right, so just two things to do. There's basically two settings. Supply or return and then regular flow or low flow, which is less than 50 CFM. That's it. Nothing else has to be thought about here. So it is fairly easy. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on TEC2.